Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel, our channel, Gemini Gang, period. So y'all, you know I mean, you know I, I always be having the, the, the real spills going on. So it says, lost a chance of a lifetime. So somebody in business, family, relationships, they lost their chance of a lifetime. They were being tested and they miserably failed. Um, empty promises, wasted time, stick to your guns, never let up. When you sat down, it furthermore gave you confirmation of your situation. You feel me? Because sometimes we be moving so fast and when we literally sit and look and realize, we be like, yeah, that, you know, even on your part and or their part. You know, sometimes with us Geminis, we don't want to listen because it's like people keep being unforthcoming with us. And when they're unforthcoming with us and we know the truth, but we just waiting on them to get to us and they just, just, or don't want to be, you know, forthcoming or, you know, even with a business partnership, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you're not feeling the communication and it's not, you know, and it's, it is what it is anyway. And like I say, well, fuck that. Fuck it is what it is. And then you turn around and you be like, damn, it just seemed like you weren't feeling the reciprocity or you weren't feeling, you know, that you were getting what you were giving. You feel me? And then I get, they cared and took their sweet time. You make a final decision. So when you are in a partnership with someone, you do not take your sweet time. How you think it should be, how you think it should be, is how it should be done according to you and that person. Don't got time to teach someone how to humanely treat you or care for you. And that can be in any situation. Like morally, everyone knows how to respect and care about somebody. And then I get, we don't have to like each other, but respect each other. Staying out of his way and staying out of your way can be the best situation to any problem. When you, you know what I'm saying? When when you just can't, you just, you just can't get through it because there is always a stalemate, like a two of swords or something. And then it says, uh new lover alert y'all so i think a new lover is somebody is intrigued by you and then i get a to-do list somebody needs to finish a to-do list i know i probably have maybe one or two things i need to do attracting everything back after cutting um some things people places and things off that did not serve you any purpose and then um someone is moving or someone is trying to get an apartment house or whatever and um pretty much like i say go to god that's what i do i go to god when i know i need something i know that i am moving into my house very soon and i know that it's going to take consistency hard work like i always put into everything that i do and for everything that i want so i know you know it's coming <laughs> so i'm ready Somebody tired, y'all. Y'all need to get y'all ass in the bed and stop sleep and, and, and go to sleep for three, four hours and think that's enough. And it ain't. And then I get looking at a relationship for more than the match the for more than the matching outfits, more than sex, more than the vacation. So relationships is more than, you know, a, a, a matching outfit. It's more than just going on vacations. It's more than just sex. What? Okay, if you took all of that away, then what? Like, it'll be like an emotionless, loveless, ain't together, cheating on each other every day as relationship because that's really what you wanted from the relationship. You didn't want anything else. But when you in a real relationship, you want to know how this person feels. You want to know they likes, dislikes. You want to know stuff about them that makes you feel that you're secure and you knowing stuff about them makes you both feel secure in one another because it takes time. Like, I don't understand how people can have all these extra levels because if you have to put all this time in someone, 
you know, like favorite colors, what they like, how they operate, how y'all can operate together. You ain't gonna have time for two, three, four, five females. And then I get loyalty, honesty, and commitment. You know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's hard for some people. People can't give you that. That's why some females ask for money because they feel this is too expensive to give. Always willing to work on a plan, but the only one, but you're the only one there. They make plans, never uphold their part. So you may be dealing with somebody that may be, ne you know, they'll be there for the plan, making plans for the plan, but never there when it's time to execute the plan. And then it says feeling like a victim. So someone may be feeling like a victim. Woe is me. She, he did that to me. And, and they don't realize that you may have caused this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like some guys... Or some females or whatever the situation. When you deal with narcissists, they're going to blame everybody but their self. They're not going to be like, well, maybe I had a part. Maybe I don't listen. I know it means sometimes I don't listen because I don't be wanting to hear it because I know I'm being fed BS. But when I know I'm, you know, you were forthcoming from the jump, I will listen because that's just me. But when I know stuff ain't forthcoming, you know, or you know and stuff ain't forthcoming and you know you're being lied to, but they're trying to see how long they can carry on the lie, but they want you to be okay and accept the lie and you not have accepted lie, but truth and you are the light and not of the darkness and you standing on that. And then I get not wanting to let go of things and continuing to want to go through the same behavior and get the same result. So someone wants to keep doing the same thing and, 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 and think they're going to get a different result. That's a psycho. That's psychotic to me. Like, if you ask God for something or if you want to change your ways, you can't be in this ridiculous-ass energy of, oh, I'm, I really want this, and when this get here, I'm going to change. Uh, It don't happen like that. Y'all, I don't know why this thing is doing... I don't know why this thing was doing this, but it don't happen like that, y'all. It does not happen like that. If you want to change, it has to be you wanting to change. Not, oh, this new thing coming, so I'm going to change. I know it's going to work. It's not going to work unless you've already been trying to do the work to change. It's like, you know what I'm saying, a crackhead wanting to change, but he keeps surrounding himself around people in the same things that make him go back to his old shit. You know, let's make it make sense. Anyway, moving forward. um, Seeing things for what they are and moving forward. So you... Time and time and time again, you keep being told, you've been proven right that this person or people, places, and things are not going to change. And being that they're not going to change, you're moving accordingly. And then I get no one feels or sees action to take someone back. So somebody don't even see actions to even take anybody back. They on the same shit. It, it just felt good to feel like you're going to get took back. And then move on about your day. It's just that energy. But you know what I'm saying? Don't stop taking care or helping a family dynamic until you move on to your own. Let's make that clear. So thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels for the messages. Thank you for protecting me and my fellow Gemini gang and the people who click on to this video and subscribe to this page. Something about a convict, y'all. This shit keep coming out. Let me stack these cards y'all it says big stupid somebody feel big stupid this person feels big stupid this person that has this energy of you know our one they went to jail for something and right or wrong they feel big stupid about a situation some money is old Something about appreciate. Someone's not feeling appreciated. Somebody uh, is up under a lot of stress right now and may be going or feeling that they need to go towards alcohol. Talk to people. Someone feel like they can't talk to people because they feel big stupid because they dug themselves in a hole that they like are for dear life trying to get out of. Thank you guys for touring. Somebody can't talk to people because they were too busy trying to go against the grain and go against 
what was really going on and not telling the truth and not being real with themselves and going towards what they thought was right. And then it says something about protecting your energy, y'all. Then it says wrong person, wrong size. So this person is kind, bigger. This person that acts like such is not right for you. He's feeling big stupid because he can't get himself out of this bullshit. Someone don't feel appreciated. Someone is cut the fuck. Someone's cut off. Big stupid cut off. Owes money. Secret admirer. So somebody that liked them or the reason why they may not have no money because they gave to a situation that never gave back. And this is a real tarot reading. Fuck you mean. And then I'm getting a Latin American. This may be a mixed light skinned person that this person is, um, <clears throat> is you know, in a head about not belonging. This person does can't talk to people because they feel like they don't belong. But I feel like you do belong if you accept you for you and stop trying to accept yourself for what other people want you to be. Let's make it make sense, y'all. Then I get per period to what the fuck I said. Then let's see what's going on because people be weird, y'all. I'm telling y'all, like, if you around someone that wants you to be how they want you to be and fit you in this fucking box that you weren't never meant to be in, why are you fucking with these folks? Then it says information. Y'all, some information is coming in. I wonder what type of information this is. What type of information this is? An apartment. Some information is coming in on about an apartment. Angels. I love you. Somebody that stays in an apartment or some weird shit like that, they claim they love you or some weird shit like that. It's something coming up or something happening about this person and they called you and you dropped and left everything. Probably don't left your food on the goddamn gone. And then someone nervous. This person is nervous. What the hell are they nervous for? Drop the kids off. I guess someone had to drop the kids off. Something done happened. Magical. Something magical didn't happen, or some some someone's getting their spell work resent back to them. Someone's single. This person is single feels like they do not belong, and one time is enough. It takes honestly, it takes one time for a motherfucker to cheat on me. It takes one time for you to dip your dick on someone else, and I'm done. I don't know the feeling. I don't know the feeling when you do it. When you come back, the energy, I can't explain it. But when I feel that energy is over, it's done with. When you start taking, you know what I'm saying, and choosing up, that's another thing. I will I will leave it where it's at. And whoever this was saw you as a threat. They saw you as a threat. So they had to do whatever it, they could. So this third party saw you as a threat. And they felt they had to do whatever it took in order for you fighting off bs okay so fighting off bs this single person is fighting off bs and um this person is gemini's we may be uh, we may be fighting off threats uh someone maybe done hit rock bottom and then i'm getting dick watching so somebody dick watching or somebody watching what somebody motherfucking doing because they can't get up or be a part of some shit because they fucked up fake folks being removed so fake people are being removed from your life so i feel like whatever done happened or whatever it just seems like things are getting a little bit better and a little bit better every day or you got into a situation where you thought that you know it was gonna be that it was like God sent it was God sent but you had to go through a test and they had to go through a test and they failed and you passed so you still getting your blessing and they gonna have to still go through the journey to learn what they need to learn to get where they need to get be something about a daycare I don't know why the daycare card keep coming out thank you guys spirit God and what about this daycare what about this daycare I'm gonna take these last ones and then I'm gonna move this according and then it says hospital bed so somebody's in a hospital bed and then i get never say never say never say never what you won't do you feel me never say never and it says someone is giving you good advice and something about a good investment so y'all keep going with that so let's get into these other cards 
because I haven't used these in a while. Thank you, guys, Spirit, God, and Arch, and Dancer. Y'all, something about a dancer, something about an entertainer. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Arch, Angels. Thank you. Ooh. Something about a break. Somebody needed a break from a situation because they got tired of shit that they couldn't handle or people didn't want to act like they wanted to be a part of something, so they took a break to see where they stood. Listen. They got tired of not being listened to or they got tired of a person and not listening. Ego and pride. But however, someone is not going to want to listen to one that keeps feeding them lies. I don't want to hear it because I already know what it is. I just want a person to come clean. Like, you know, come clean your soul. And I'm helping you clean your soul type of energy. Let the truth set you free. Somebody cut somebody off. Then I got something about no more. Someone got tired of that shit. They said no fucking more. They got tired of this fucking liar. No more, honey. So I guess somebody was like, oh, you don't want to come around. You don't want to do what I say. Then you don't get no more, honey. Or this may be someone where, oh, I'm not going to keep having sex with you. I'm not going to keep laying down with you. When you around there laying out with them devils and coming back in my holy bed, that's not what the fuck going to go down. It's something to do with close fucking friends, y'all. What the fuck going on? Close friends, hating assholes. It has something to do around close ass friends and hating assholes. It's the fact that they came together for to 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 destroy someone and see them in their demise, and it made them feel good, didn't it? And, and you know me, I don't give a fuck. I tell people what the fuck to look out for. I tell people what to look for, and they don't listen. So you do what you do, and you get the fuck you get. Drugs are involved. Something about something important or somebody overdosed. This is a love-hate relationship. So somebody may be in a hospital bed because they OD'd on drugs or they committed or tried to commit suicide or something like that because they was leaving them or 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 they were, you know, something like that. Something like that. Codependent. Somebody codependent on somebody and somebody codependent on somebody that was buying, you know, they gas or whatever. They was codependent on this person. Like this person needed them for everything, but they never really just like you didn't come off like that. Like this other person that they was dealing with, man, this person needed them for everything. Hell, this person needed them for air to breathe. And and even though they didn't like this person like that, they knew that this person was gonna be there for them. You was just a good time. So whoever this was, either a second party, third party, or whoever, or it can even be us Gemini. They thought I was a good that I. They thought that you was a good time. So being that they thought that you was a good time, you moved accordingly and you moved out their way when they started moving different. It's whatever. So you're probably saying in your head, it's whatever. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm moving on. This bread finna come in and you feel money finna come in and I feel the floor you, for you. For you. Okay, it's finna hit the flow. Slow and steady wins the race. So you're doing this steadily and that money coming and you're getting support. That's why I'm not worried, y'all. I'm not, you know, I know I'm going to move into my house and I know God's going to send me what I need. I know that people may be like, oh, you can't do it in that amount of time. We got hell yes. And then I get sex, physical attraction. So someone probably was only sexually or physically attracted to you. You know, and they didn't bring that to your attention. And now it's like, damn. And it says, defend what's yours, though. Defend what's yours. Defend who you are. Defend and know that at the end of the motherfucking day, that can't no one change your mindset. Because if anybody can change your mindset, they can change anything about you. So manifest, you feel me? Defend what's yours. You finna get this money. You finna get with everything you need. God gonna make sure your family and everything is straight. And the other folks that thought that they was gonna be posers, trust me. And you're protected from these folks, too. Or you're protected from this hating-ass family that think that they was going to make your empire fall. And it didn't happen. And it probably had something to do with a motherfucking fire sign. Like, no games at fucking all. So, let's get into this tarot real quick. Let me see what these cards talking about. Thank you, guys. Spirit, God, and Archangels for the messages for my collective of Gemini. Thank you, guys. Spirit, God, and Archangels for the clear, clairvoyant, and clear audience. Something is coming to an end. I'm already seeing it. Thank you, guys. Spirit, God, and Archangels. What's going on with us? 
What's going on with the Geminis? Ooh, the Geminis. We got spirit, got an archangel, and the ancestors. What I told you. The Wheel of Fortune, horse. Who? We getting the Wheel of Fortune, y'all. People are not happy about this shit. This water sign, or whoever this is, is not happy about what you have going on. And they feel bound because they missed an opportunity. They missed their opportunity with the Gemini. They wanted to have us bound. They wanted us to feel less than, lack than. Or some of us Geminis right now may feel bound or trapped. But girl, they want you to feel that way. They want you to feel trapped. They want you to feel bound. But then when you start saying, I don't give a fuck and stop giving them that energy and entertaining it, they're going to start trying to do what it takes to be around you. But then leave that shit alone because it's going to be a, ever, a never ending cycle. It's people that's online looking at you, trying to figure out what you're doing, trying to figure out has any of those rituals or any of the spells that they did work yet. And they haven't, and they've been redirected. They're trying to figure out they just did something on you. Why the fuck? Because they getting the fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Queen of Cups. It may be someone um that's that 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 is really she's a hoe. I'm sorry. All of the Queen Cups, all these like these in reverse are hoes. They thought that they was gonna stop your um your wheel of fortune. They thought they was gonna stop your money, and they wanted your life. However, when somebody wants your life. They have to start over from where you started before you were woke. So they have to go through this whole thing just to have your life. And you know how long it took you to be where you were. And I've been telling people, look, okay, I'm getting the five of swords. So I'm in reverse. So I'm giving like getting like people walking away and like you don't give a fuck. Like you don't give a fuck. And you know what I'm saying? And you know, being that you don't give a fuck, there's no detachment issue. There's no, oh my God, I wonder what they're doing. I wonder who they're with. You don't give three fucks. You know what I'm saying? Like this right here, fighting off bullshit that had you trapped. People, places, and things. People, places, and things that thought they was going to have my Gemini's trap. What the fuck we got going on here? Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels, and ancestors for the messages from my collective. Thank you guys spirit okay two of swords somebody was confused there was a stalemate somebody wanted to do things their way they weren't thinking about nobody else they weren't communicating with somebody else or they were in between two energies and their own and they were just in their head Men, if they in their head, they don't know where to go. And they thought that they're going to have you in your head. Have you around here depressed, but you wasn't. Okay. Ace of Wands. So on your energy, you get the Ace of Wands and you get the Wheel of Fortune. So guess what? In that energy, someone tried to stop your money. So these people getting they ass tapped and your, your money is getting blessed. Like God hitting them pockets. And when God hit them pockets with the blessing, he's going to hit that pocket with a blessing. And when he hit it with a blessing, can't nobody stop. None of that shit. Oh, shit. God dang. I'm going to drop all the cards, y'all. And guess what came out? And guess what's flipped over? Somebody tried to have a three-way relationship. Someone tried to be in a situation where they thought that they was going to play you and put you in a third-party situation. And you weren't going for it. And there's going to be karma for that shit. And then I get Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So this person that did this fucked up shit to you, their money slowing down. And then they're going to start looking at you, feeling like it's your fault and all this weird old extra shit. But guess what? You leaving the situation. You leaving the situation and you being told these people, okay, Gemini lovers, you ain't had someone try to put you in a two-way situation. They tried to put you in a two-way situation. And guess what happened? They end up getting their own self hurt. Somebody is leaving a situation or trying to leave a situation to go to somebody else because they're in between two people, one light-skinned and one darker-skinned person. And then I get the Ten of Swords. Someone feels stabbed in the back. This is a full completion of whatever the fuck this is. I ain't going to read all these cards, y'all. I'm just going to go right back in the deck. But y'all, it's just crazy how people just weird. Like, what the fuck are we doing? 
Like, that's why us Geminis ain't got no time for that shit. We is not finna play. We is not finna... We ain't finna keep bargaining with you and we done bargain with you 50,000 times and we thought we had an agreement, conversation, understanding, and it was not that. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Someone in their head right now may be lying when people ask them, are you okay? No, everything is not okay, but I'm finna let you know right now it's fine. God fixing it. Or this person may be lying to you and telling you that everything fine and they really lying because they are so exhausted by all the bullshit going on in their life and they done, you know what I'm saying, told half the truth and told half fake or didn't tell you the truth at all and told you a complete lie. And now it's like they can't even come to you with the real shit because they lied to you about everything. Real talk. And they think that, you know what I'm saying, like they are entitled. You, they're entitled to a relationship with you. No, these people are not entitled to a relationship with you. If they can't come communicate with you, come with full understanding from the jump, how the fuck you going to believe them? A person shows you who they are the first time, and if you don't believe them the first time, you're going to be a fucking fool over and over and over a fucking again. You're going to be up at night. You're going to be in your feelings. This person probably up at night in their feelings because you was not taking them back. You, you know what I'm saying? You can be their spiritual advisor. You can help them through their they, you know, they dark moments and get them to the light. But as far as like a love relationship, you ain't going. A person that's shown you that you they can't even handle a business partner relationship. They can't even come through. And you know, and it's always and and, and, and then they're giving to the wrong person. And it's always an excuse for you, but it's never an excuse for the other person that's fucking them over. That's why you like what you know what I'm over this shit. God gonna do what he gonna do, how he gonna do it, and then when he bless you, he gonna bless you. He going to bless you right in front of their ass. He going to bless you right in front of their ass. And they going to see the celebration. They can't even fucking be a part of it. Because they want to do shit they way. They want to do it how they want to do it. When they want to do it. And then all these fights breaking out. And they wonder why they going through all of this bullshit. All of this drama. All of this is awesome. Because you keep making drama. You keep making drama for yourself. This pinnacle. He keep making drama for himself. You keep doing weird stuff. You keep getting into look you in it and then you win it with a hole a queen of wands in reverse to me is a hole that's a hole so you want this you want you want to be upright and you want this hole so if you want a hole if you want a fire sign and i'm saying fire sign and all i'm saying is a earth sign a fire sign gemini i see uh i see everything just about here but i see more earth fire 